Alright folks, today let's dive into the fascinating world of insulation. Sounds fancy right, but don't worry, I'm here to break it down for you. So buckle up, sit tight, and let's get started. First off, what exactly is insulation? Well it's simply the amount of solar radiation reaching a given area. Imagine the sun as a giant spotlight, showering earth with energy. This energy is what we call insulation. But it doesn't hit every part of the earth equally. Now why does this matter? Because insulation controls our climate, weather patterns and even how plants grow. It's pretty darn important. Let's break it down further. Insulation depends on a few key factors. First, latitude. The closer you are to the equator, the more direct sunlight you receive. That's why it's hotter in the tropics and cooler as you move towards the poles. Simple, right? Next, let's talk about the angle of the sun. During different times of the year, the Earth's tilt causes the sun's rays to hit at different angles. Think about summer and winter. In summer, the sun is higher in the sky and its rays strike more directly. More insulation means warmer temperatures. In winter, the sun is lower and its rays are more spread out. Less insulation means cooler temperatures. Don't forget about the length of the day. Longer days mean more time for the sun to shine, increasing the amount of insulation. That's why summer days are warm and winter days are cold, even if the sun is out. But hold on, there's more. The Earth's surface also plays a role. Different surfaces absorb and reflect sunlight differently. Snow and ice, for example, reflect a lot of sunlight, reducing insulation. Dark surfaces like forests and oceans absorb more sunlight, increasing insulation. And let's not forget about the atmosphere. Clouds, dust, and gases can block or scatter sunlight, affecting how much insulation reaches the ground. Ever noticed how it feels cooler on a cloudy day? That's the atmosphere doing its thing. So to sum it up, insulation is all about how much solar energy reaches a specific area of the Earth. It's influenced by latitude, the sun's angle, the length of the day, the Earth's surface, and the atmosphere. Understanding insulation helps us grasp how climate and weather work, which is super important for everything from farming to planning your beach vacation. That's it for today's deep dive into insulation. I hope you found this as fascinating as I did. Keep exploring, keep learning, and until next time, stay curious.